Here are the top 16 seeds at Wimbledon. Can any of these other 15 guys stop Djokovic? I don't think so, but we will take a closer look at that in this video. The Wimbledon Twitter account posted five ridiculous Novak Djokovic Wimbledon stats that I will go through right now. Djokovic has 28 consecutive match wins at Wimbledon. He hasn't lost in seven years. Only Roger Federer has more gentleman singles match wins, and he has 86 match wins more than this year's top 20 combined. Djokovic is unbeaten on center court since 2013. Four titles in a row and seven in total. These stats are pretty crazy. Djokovic is 113 and 19 on grass in his career, which is an impressive 85.61 winning percentage. There is only one guy in the field to beat him on grass, and that is Andy Murray. I think Murray can make a run here, but I don't think he has a realistic chance to win the title. Let's take a look at Djokovic's draw. Round one is Kachin, round two is Thompson or Nakashima, three Echeverry Ruzavori or Vavrinka, four Musetti or Hercatch, uh, quarterfinal Rublev, FAA, Bublik or Kyrgios, semifinal Rude Center or Fritz, final Alcaraz, Bevedev, Zitsipas or Rune. Uh, I think Djokovic has a relatively easy path until the quarterfinals. Alcaraz is the only guy I really see with a decent chance to beat Djokovic. Let's look at his draw. Some big servers early on, then Dimonor or Zverev could be tough in the fourth round. Tiafo in the quarters would be difficult as well. Alcaraz won a grass lead up tournament, but is relatively inexperienced on the surface. Here are some notable round one matchups. Mackenzie McDonald, who beat Fritz and has played well on grass this year, will take on the always entertaining Alexander Bublik. Bublik was able to win Halle by beating Rublev in the final to win his first ever ATP 500 title. Vavrinka will take on Ruzavori. Vavrinka's worst surface is grass and he hasn't played a grass match this year. Ruzavori beat Sinner in a lead-up tournament, winning 29 out of 29 points on his first serve. Goffin plays Kyrgios. Kyrgios would be one of the favorites if he wasn't just coming back from injury. You never know with Nick, but it seems likely that he will lose in the early rounds. Team will face off against Zitsipas. Both guys are struggling to win matches. Team's worst service is grass, so Zitsipas should be able to win this one easily. The big serving Canadian Milos Raonic makes his Grand Slam return versus Novak. Not that Novak, but Austria's Denis Novak. Some potential round two matchups. Serendolo vs. Lehechka in a battle of a couple great young players. If Raonic can get by Denis Novak, he would play Tommy Paul in round two. Mevedev will likely play Manorino in round two. Manorino is a nightmare player on grass. He has a big swinging lefty serve on the ad side, and his flat backhand can really skid through the court on grass. He already beat Mevedev in a lead-up tournament, and is a real threat to do it again. He has played a lot of matches these last couple of weeks, so who knows if he will be 100% fit. Andy Murray could play Zitsipas in round two. I think Murray has a decent chance to pull the upset. Zitsipas' backhand is a real liability, and he seems to be a bit distracted at the moment. If you want to fill out a men's or women's bracket for a chance to win money, you can go to racketbracket.tennis.com. For the quarterfinals, I have Alcaraz beating Tiafo, Korda beating Serendolo, Fritz beating Harris, and Djokovic beating Rublev. For the semifinals, I have Alcaraz beating Korda and Djokovic beating Fritz. In the final, I have Djokovic beating Alcaraz. Djokovic loves playing on grass, and Alcaraz has only just started playing on it. Until Alcaraz beats Djokovic in a slam, I will continue picking Djokovic.